For decades, the wide-body market has been a two-pronged arena dominated by Airbus and Boeing. Leading the way has been the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, one of the most successful long-haul jets ever built, praised for its performance and global acceptance. But China is stepping into the fray with the Comac C929, a next-generation widebody that is nearing design completion and has been dubbed China's 787 and is poised to challenge the duopoly. How will this newcomer reshape the balance of power? Which aircraft will ultimately emerge victorious? Let's find out. In the early 2000s, Boeing faced growing market pressure to rethink its long-haul strategy. Even airlines were struggling with volatile fuel prices, changing passenger expectations, and the economic need to operate more point-to-point -point routes rather than relying solely on giant hubs. Boeing's futuristic sonic cruiser, designed for high speeds, no longer met airlines' needs. The market demanded efficiency, not Mach number. To address these challenges, Boeing turned to the 7E7 concept, which would evolve into the 787 Dreamliner. Approved in 2003, the project was built around what airlines valued most lower fuel consumption, reduced maintenance costs, and a cabin experience that could differentiate airlines in a competitive global market. And so with the plan set, the design complete, Boeing pushed to make the Dreamliner the first commercial jetliner to use composite materials for most of its airframe, resulting in significant weight savings and improved fuel efficiency. Furthermore, the use of advanced turbofan engines, the transition to an electrical system architecture, and an unprecedented global supply chain involving major partners in Japan, Italy, and the United States were all part of Boeing's plan to reduce development costs and accelerate production. In essence, the jet's origins lay at the intersection of economic need global industrial capacity and Boeing's need to reassert technological leadership in a changing market landscape. By contrast, the COMAX C929 is being built in a market defined not only by commercial opportunity, but also by China's national strategy political ambitions and long-term plans to control every link in the aviation supply chain. The project's origins lie in China's broader industrial policy, including the Two Big Projects initiative of the early 2000s which aimed to build domestically produced regional jets and large commercial aircraft. As China's economy grew rapidly and demand for air travel boomed, Beijing recognized the strategic vulnerability of relying entirely on Airbus and Boeing fleets. The initial germ of this aircraft idea stemmed from a desire to ensure national autonomy in long-haul aviation, a field previously dominated by Western technology. Originally envisioned as the CR-929 in partnership with Russia's UAC, the program initially drew strength from political alignment. The two nations sought to challenge U.S. aerospace dominance. But differing technical priorities and supply chain strategies dissolved the alliance, prompting China to take full ownership of the project. It might have seemed like they would abandon the project outright, but this is where the project's core strength becomes clear, China's determination to build an independent aviation ecosystem from airframe composites to flight control systems to engines like the CJ2000. In other words, the motivation is both technological and geopolitical. Developing a competitive wide body signals China's shift from assembling foreign aircraft to designing highly complex machines entirely domestically. It also represents a strategic response to export controls, Western certification barriers, and the need for a long-term national revival in aerospace manufacturing. In general, while the Dreamliner's origins are rooted in global market demand, COMAC's wide-body origins are rooted in national industrial development and political intentions. Boeing built the 787 because airlines needed it. China built the C929 because its government economy and long-term strategic plans demanded it. One aircraft is driven by competition in a saturated global market. The other, 
by a rising power's determination to create such a market. To understand and decide which aircraft is superior, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on exciting aviation news. And now, let's continue our journey of discovery. First and foremost, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner marks a fundamental shift in wide-body aircraft design, aiming to improve performance, passenger comfort, and operational flexibility. Its most notable innovation is the extensive use of carbon fiber reinforced plastic, which accounts for approximately 50% of the airframe's weight and 80% of its volume. This composite focused approach reduces structural weight by approximately 20% compared to conventional aluminum directly improving fuel efficiency range and payload capacity. Unlike traditional aluminum fuselages with overlapping seams, the jet uses monocoque sections, which improve structural integrity, allow for lower cabin pressure, and allow for higher humidity without compromising strength. Supporting materials include 20% aluminum, 15% titanium for high-stress areas, such as engine mounts and pins, and 10% steel for landing gear and critical accessories. Aerodynamically, the Dreamliner pushes the limits of modern wing design with its long slender wings optimized for a high aspect ratio featuring elegantly canted wingtips that reduce drag and enhance lift-drag performance in cruise flight. Thanks to the flexibility of the composite structure, the wings flex significantly in flight reducing turbulence and allowing the aircraft to maintain smooth, stable flight with high performance. These aerodynamic improvements enable the Dreamliner to reach a cruising speed of Mach 0.85, making it one of the fastest subsonic wide-body aircraft while achieving exceptional fuel efficiency. Additionally, the aircraft's digital fly-by-wire control system, advanced drag reduction system, and smooth laminar flow wing shape further enhance performance, especially on long-haul high-altitude flights. Engines are another area where Boeing relies on proven cutting-edge technology. Operators can choose between the General Electric GNX and Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines, both of which are high-bypass ratio turbofans designed for superior thermal efficiency, lower specific fuel consumption, and reduced emissions. With extensive use of composite fan blades, advanced materials in hot chambers, and optimized bypass ratios exceeding 9 to 1, these engines deliver smooth, fuel-efficient thrust suitable for intercontinental missions. Reliability and an extensive global support network make the Dreamliner a reliable machine in a variety of operating environments. Cabin space further differentiates the 787 from previous designs. With a generous fuselage width of 5.49 meters, airlines can flexibly arrange seats in 8, 9, or 10 rows. The composite fuselage allows for a pressure equivalent to 6,000 feet, significantly lower than traditional wide-body aircraft, helping to reduce passenger fatigue on long-haul flights. Improved humidity, HEPA air filtration, advanced thermal management, large electronically dimmable windows, and full-spectrum LED lighting create a quieter, healthier, and more comfortable onboard experience. Overall, Boeing has designed a cabin space that is not only physically better, but also mentally relaxing, which has become a big plus for both airlines and passengers. Compared to the C929, Comac's wide-body concept demonstrates China's ambition to match or surpass these innovations without being constrained by traditional design constraints. Initial design studies suggest the aircraft will use an all-metal composite or composite hybrid airframe with a smooth body aerodynamic structure and high performance wings expected to rival the Dreamliner and A350. Renderings show slender wings with advanced wingtip treatments likely optimized for high subsonic crews near Mach 0.185. The real test, however, is manufacturing large-scale composite layup processing technology and precision fuselage integration are still areas they are working on. A key uncertainty is the propulsion system. 
The aircraft is weighing options between next-generation domestic engines, such as the CJ2000, and foreign engines, each with trade-offs in certification performance and reliability. Without a proven engine predictions of thrust, bypass ratio, or thermal performance, remain speculative. Achieving the Dreamliner's balance of comfort, fuel consumption, and Mack cruising capability will require unprecedented advances in Chinese engine technology. In terms of the cabin, Comac aims to meet or exceed Boeing's passenger experience standards. Initial claims suggest a spacious cabin with similar humidity, a lower cabin altitude, and advanced lighting and air filtration. However, without finalized specifications, it remains uncertain whether the C929 will set new comfort standards or simply replicate existing ones. Furthermore, its performance ambitions place it in the same league as the Dreamliner, with Comac targeting an intercontinental range in excess of 6,500 to 7,000 nautical miles, competitive MTOW and fuel efficiency suitable for long-haul, narrow-haul global routes. However, until the aircraft begins flight testing, these figures remain targets rather than achievable. Economically, the Chinese manufacturer's strategy emphasizes lower acquisition costs, which is particularly appealing to developing markets and domestic airlines looking for alternatives to Boeing and Airbus. But long-term durability, reliability, and life cycle maintenance remain to be proven. After all, the 787 is a fully proven wide-body platform with global operational maturity, while the C929 remains an ambitious contender. It promises modern design and competitive range, but its true performance, both technical, economic, and operational, will only be revealed once it leaves the drawing board and enters actual service. However, both have encountered a series of challenges and difficulties on their way to the global market. The Boeing Dreamliner has faced numerous safety challenges as it has to be inspected against both the aircraft and the rigorous aviation industry standards. In 2013, lithium-ion battery fires grounded the entire global fleet for more than three months following incidents in Boston and Japan prompting the FAA to require solutions such as stainless steel tanks and improved insulation. Manufacturing controversies continue. Whistleblowers reported metal debris near the flight controls in 2019 and improper fuselage bonding procedures in 2024, leading to FAA inspections, delivery halts, and ongoing investigations. More recently, a LATAM 2024 seat failure that injured 13 passengers and an Air India 2025 crash shortly after takeoff have renewed scrutiny even as the 787 has accumulated millions of hours of safe flight time. By comparison, the C929's safety record remains a blank slate. Untested in flight, lacking operational or certification data, and unexposed to real-world aviation, the aircraft faces unknown risks. Its composite structure indigenous engines like the CJ2000 and large-scale manufacturing processes remain untested for the rigors of commercial aviation. In an industry where reliability is non-negotiable, the 787's early failures, addressed through repeated fixes and years of service, have built a solid, proven foundation. However, the C929 must build its track record from scratch before it can win the trust of airlines and passengers in the skies, where history will ultimately decide the verdict. Ultimately, the Dreamliner remains a proven, unchallenged juggernaut, scarred by battery fires and manufacturing wars, but redeemed through relentless fixes, billions of safe miles flown, and a fleet that is reshaping global routes. Meanwhile, Comax C929 rises, like a bold Chinese dragon ambitious composites, rumored engine breakthroughs, bloodless unproven geopolitical thunders, promises etched on the drawing board rather than the runway. In the fierce arena of aviation, where airlines stake their survival on time and trust, the veteran eagle soars highest. For now, will Beijing's challenger topple the throne or crash on unproven wings? Do you think the future will change? If so, which will prevail?
Leave your thoughts below video ends here. Have an interesting journey. Goodbye and see you again.